Hello, welcome to the busy city of Mouthtropolis, where oral health is important to all. This city never sleeps and they always brush their teeth. People don't have to work and they never get sick. Sounds like a paradise. In order to become a citizen, all people need to have a solid understanding of oral health care. Luckily, the oral health forum has created a presentation already done for you to review and learn new information. Let's get started. The oral health forum is proud to present to you a presentation on oral health. We're here to help you integrate to Mouthtropolis as much as possible. We're going to be covering some basics like flossing and brushing, and there will also be some tips that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Hint, it involves chewing gum. First things first, you're probably wondering, why do we need to care about our teeth in the first place? We use our teeth every single day. Imagine trying to bite into something crunchy like an apple without any teeth. Um, yikes. We need our teeth to pronounce certain letters, like the letter S. Go ahead and try to say sassafras without your teeth. It's practically impossible. Lastly, we use our teeth to smile. We want our teeth to be presentable among friends and in our pictures, right? A good smile boosts our self-confidence. Oral health is also important because it can offer clues to our overall health. You can say it's the window to our body. There's an increasing amount of evidence linking gum disease to an increased risk of heart disease. Some researchers think that mouth infections, like any infections, can increase the levels of inflammatory substances in the blood, which can promote blood clots and slow blood flow to the heart. It's important to keep healthy habits daily, such as brushing and flossing. Luckily, there are additional ways to support our oral health and prevent the growth of bad bacteria. The same bad bacteria can also put you at risk for the growth of cavities. The definition of a cavity is a hole on the tooth that is caused by the buildup of plaque. Plaque is just another word for the buildup of bacteria and sugar. This then turns into an acid and burns a hole. The symptoms of a cavity include toothache, spontaneous pain, tooth sensitivity, mild to sharp pain when eating or drinking something sweet, hot or cold, visible holes or pits in your teeth, and pain when you bite down. Is it possible to reverse a cavity? Short answer is no. The only way to fix a cavity is by visiting a dentist. During filling procedures, dentists clean away the decay inside the cavity, usually with a drill before filling it in. Most dentists make today's fillings from something called a composite resin, and many dentists still use something called silver amalgam. Let's talk about brushing. So brushing is very important in terms of healthy oral hygiene. Brushing teeth helps remove plaque, prevent cavities, and it also stimulates gums. Dentists recommend that we brush at least twice a day for two minutes, once in the morning and once at night. It's always very important to use fluoridated toothpaste. We're gonna to be talking about fluoride a little bit later in the presentation and why it's so important. Read the ingredients on the back to check if your fluoride is the correct amount that it should be. It should be between 1350 ppm to 1500 ppm. So what sort of to toothbrush should you use? The American Dental Association says to use a toothbrush with soft bristles. It's important to replace your toothbrush every three months to prevent yourself from contracting any unhealthy bacteria. You can either use a manual or electric toothbrushes. Both can be used effectively if used correctly. Here are some brushing tips. So we wanna be brushing for two minutes. Some people use timers. Some people use electrical toothbrushes that turn off after two minutes. It's up to you how you wanna remember those two minutes. You wanna aim your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle towards the gum line and use a gentle circular motion. You want to repeat the inside surfaces. In this video, you can see a visual explanation on how to accurately brush your teeth. You can find this video on our website. So just as brush brushing is very important to take care of your teeth, flossing is necessary as well. Flossing removes plaque, cleans small spaces, and prevents gum diseases. You should floss at least once a day, preferably in the evening time after you're done eating. Gum disease is an inflammation of the gums. It commonly occurs because a film of plaque or bacteria accumulates on the teeth. Luckily, some gum diseases like gingivitis is reversible and preventable, 
but treated, untreated gingivitis can progress to periodontitis. Here are the stages of gum diseases. So our gums should be very healthy and bright and pink, but if we're not flossing, we're leaving that bacteria in between our gum and our teeth and our gums can become irritated. But remember, gingivitis is preventable and it is reversible. Periodontitis is unfortunately not reversible. With weak gums, you have weak teeth. So here is a slide that explains how to floss properly. To floss properly, you wanna break off a piece of floss about arm's length, wind the floss around both of your middle fingers, place the floss in between two teeth. Gently glide the floss up and down as if the floss is hugging the tooth. You do not want to do a seesaw motion. This could cut your gums because your gums are very sensitive and so you wanna be very gentle. Repeat the steps as you move from tooth to tooth, which each tooth uses a new clean section of floss. Those with braces have a special kind of floss that help them weave in and out through each bracket. Check out our video on our website as well that is a visual explanation on how to floss accurately. So there are a lot of types of flosses. The most common three flosses are the unwaxed wax floss, pre-cut floss, and the water flosser. Pre-cut floss picks are seen as more favorable because of their convenience, but you do have a higher risk of transferring bacteria to other spaces. Try rinsing the floss every time you begin, begin to floss a new area when using these floss picks. Dentists recommend using unwaxed wax floss because it is, because it is very manipulative and you can um, wrap the floss the way you want it to, to be. Water flossing is a great way to clean between and around your teeth. A water flosser is a handheld device that sprays streams of water in steady pulses. The water, like traditional floss, removes food from between teeth. Another way to protect our teeth is, of course, eating healthy. Every food you eat or beverage you drink comes in contact with your teeth which means those choices continually impact the health of your teeth and gums. Many foods in a typical American diet, from sugary processed foods and drinks to those that are highly acidic, can actually eat away at your tooth enamel, causing cavities. So it's important to focus on eating healthy foods that can also promote oral health. Here is a picture of the US food plate. As you can see, the largest portion of the plate consists of vegetables. So you wanna eat a lot of various vegetables and have a little bit of protein. Protein is one of the, the smallest portions on the plate. Proteins can be like beans, red meat, and white meat. And fruits also make up a smaller portion. Fruits have natural sugar in them, so we should try to limit our intake. But it's very important to also have a variety of fruits in your diet because of the healthy vitamins inside them. Grains also keep us full, and you want to try to have more whole grains and also dairy is a smaller portion of our diet and dairy can be milk, yogurt, and cheese. Here is a more condensed chart of what types of foods we should be eating and not be eating. We want to be eating a lot of fruits, vegetables, starches, and drinking a lot of water. We want to try to limit our sweets, juices, white bread, ice, and carbonated drinks. So ice should be only used to cool our drinks. We shouldn't be chewing on ice because that could be bad for our enamel. Carbonated drinks like soda and sparkling water can also be detrimental to the enamel because of the bubbling can actually wear down the enamel. Another great way to protect your teeth is chewing sugar-free gum. When we chew gum, we make saliva in our mouth, which helps neutralize the acid caused by sugar and bacteria. It's good to chew gum after a meal or on the go when you can't brush in between meals. If you're not sure if your gum is sugar-free or not, you can always read the back of the package and read the ingredients and it'll tell you if there's sugar.
Drinking water is also a great way to protect our teeth. Chicago's tap water is fluoridated and fluoride, which is also in our toothpaste, is a natural incurring mineral that is used to strengthen enamel. It rebuilds weakened tooth enamel and prevents the growth of harmful oral bacteria. Chicago's tap water comes from Lake Michigan and goes through a filtration process to clean it. The Environmental Protection Agency and the water in the Chicago Department of Water Management state that Chicago's water is safe to drink. Of course, we want to be using water filters as much as possible as well to prevent any intake of um, any uh, harmful things inside the water. Mouth guards are also very important to use to protect our teeth. A mouth guard is a soft plastic or laminate device used in sports to prevent oral injuries to the teeth, mouth, cheeks, tongue, and jaw. The use of a mouth guard for collision sports can prevent more than 200,000 oral injuries to the mouth each year. A study of high school athletes found that 75% of injuries occurred when mouth guards were not worn and 40% occurred during baseball and basketball. Thank you for watching this presentation. I hope you have acquired new information on the importance of oral health. By brushing, flossing, chewing gum, eating healthy, and drinking tap water, we can protect ourselves from cavities. Cavities can be a hassle to fix, but we have the ability to prevent them, and with enough care and cleaning, you increase the protection against dangerous bacteria. If you have any further questions, you can contact your dentist or email a team at the Oral Health Forum. Make sure you check out those videos explaining how to floss and brush correctly on our website as well. Thank you.